Hey, what's up, guys? So, I'm back for tutorial number two today. Um, so, today I'm going to be covering Alliance Quests, Alliance Wars, and uh, Events. So, uh, first thing, uh, like I was saying, let's get into Alliance Quests. So, Alliance Quest is something I know a lot of people have had their have had trouble getting their head around, and I'll just get straight into it and show you guys what it all looks like. So, I remember the first time I came into an Alliance Quest, I saw all of these flashing thingies, like this one here in the middle, that one there, and I thought, what the hell is this? What's going on? And I pretty much just avoided it for a while, because it didn't make much sense to me. But... As you get used, as you start playing it, you get used to it pretty quickly, and it it's pretty easy. So basically, with alliance quests and wars, and you get in lots of things, but there are things called nodes. So just zoom in on one here. So this one here, you click click on that one. That is called a link node. Now this one, when I click on it, obviously you can see on the right it's an outgoing node, which basically means that to these champions just here, where the arrows are going they're getting incoming, like, boosts and things that make them a lot stronger. Now, this green thing right here is where I am. So this one just here, that's where I am. Now, um, the reason I haven't taken on these champions, even though I can, is because there's this incoming node. And I need to wait until one of my teammates comes along and takes that out before I can move on. Because when you take on an incoming node... Unless you're a lot stronger than the node, you're pretty much going to get destroyed every single time. So, something I really wouldn't consider a great idea. So, yeah, with those, always wait until uh, your teammates have taken out those nodes before you want to take it on. Um, and Alliance Quests, um, they're really good for winning, uh, I suppose, uh, catalysts and things like that. And I'll explain what they are in my next tutorial video. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's Alliance Quests. Now I'll show you guys Alliance Wars. Just got to wait for it to load. And here we go. So we're going to the Alliance Wars. Now, Alliance Wars have two 24-hour phases. So first you have the Defender Placement Phase, which is what my Alliance is in now. And then after the 24 hours from the Placement Phase, you have the Attack Phase. So for the, for the Placement Phase... You all go into separate battle groups, and you place your champions. So this is like, in a way, like your base. And you want to place your champions in a, in a way where... Um, well, the way I do it is that you have your strongest member at the back, and then your second strongest at the front. So you want it to be as difficult as possible. So you each get to place a maximum of five champions, and put them anywhere you want on this map. And as you... Um, sorry. Uh, so yeah... You want to you wanna place as many champions as possible, fill up each battle group, so they defend your base, and then what happens is, in the next 24-hour phase, when it's the attack phase, you and the alliance you're versing both go and take down all of the other alliance's defenders on their map. So basically, um, that's, that's pretty much Alliance Wars. You just want to um, get through, defeat the other alliance, that kind of thing. And when you're doing the placement phase, it doesn't show you who you're versing, as you can see there. Another thing is the rewards. So, um, each alliance has a war rating at the moment, uh, where you can see my alliance's name, the Rebel Strike Force there. It's, under that, it's got 655. That's our war rating. And if you look down below that, it says victory, plus 67 in the green, and defeat, minus 29 in the red. So... If you win the war, you get you go up in your war rating, and if you lose, you go down, obviously. But when your alliance is just starting out, and you have a really low war rating, you pretty much gain war rating no matter what. And just above where it says victory and defeat, you can see it says tier 15 rewards. So your, your war rating also um, affects the rewards you get. So when you start off, obviously, you're in tier 20. And as you work your way up, the rewards get better and better. So that's pretty much the gist of um, Alliance Wars. Now, the final thing I'd like to go into is events. Now, if you look down the right down the bottom right, there's the green tick. So you want to go into that one. And you've got two different 
um, alliance, you got two different events. You've got solo events and then your alliance events. Now, I know a lot of people get confused by these. And um, if you're not sure what to do in these, you click on one of them, then you click uh, more. Um, and it will show you what kind of things you need to do to win points for that. So basically, it's just like it was I showed with Arena. You win points and you work your way through the milestones as you go along. Now, Alliance events particularly are ones that I know a lot of people get confused with. And the main one that is, is Jewel Skirmish. It's not on right now, so I can't actually show you guys that one. But you have Jewel Skirmish that comes up every now and then. And each um, time Jewel Skirmish comes up, there's a featured champion that you get bonus points for fighting. Now, dueling is where you go into another player's profile. So, I'll actually show you that now. So, go into My Alliance. Um, go to My Members. So, let's say I want to go to this one. You click on any of the members or any yeah, anyone in the Alliance or the Global Chat or whatever, and you click Duel. And then you get to go and verse their champion. Now, so for Duel Skirmish, you want to verse that per you want to verse the featured champion for that Duel Skirmish because then you get bonus points. And you can you can generally duel twice a day, five times, and I think. But if you pay units, then you can duel more times. But yeah, so the whole point of Duel Skirmish is um to yeah to for everyone in your alliance to duel the target. Uh, player. So each dual skirmish, there will be a target player that everyone knows the name of. You look for them in your search bar, which if you go down the bottom right and you go down to search, you put in the player's name. So the last player we versed was dual, uh, sorry, Z44202020. Uh, so you search there. And so the target champion was a Venom Pool. So then you go here, you click on dual, and you verse him five times and so forth. So you get good rewards for that, and um, yeah, so Alliance events has all kinds of different things. So at the moment we've got Alliance Brawl, so that's whenever you take out champions in Alliance Quests or Alliance Wars, and you get points, which again, you work through your milestones, and you get really good rewards. So yeah, I think that covers the basics. It's nothing nothing too fancy. Um, I think, like, obviously, when you play the game yourself, it explains a lot of it to you anyway, um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful, uh, and I'll see you guys when I make the next one. Catch ya.